the subject today is bone grafts and bone graft substitutes. We should keep it in mind that the commonest grafting which is done in clinical medicine is skin grafting. It is only next to the skin grafting that the bone grafting comes in. Bone grafting is one of the very common grafting procedures done in clinical medicine. Today we will talking about bone grafts and bone graft substitutes. Why do we need a bone graft? There are so many strong metals available in the market because a bone is a living structure whereas metal is an inert structure and if a metal could substitute the bone then these metals will not break. Now today we use an expression if a metal has been used to stabilize a bone and if the bone does not heal or stabilize in the critical time the metal will break. Why does the metal break? Bone is a dynamic living structure whereas metal is an inert substance. If a patient is putting a load on the metal, the metal keeps on collecting fatigue. A time comes when the fatigue collected in the metal is so much that it undergoes a spontaneous fracture and that is what is called a fatigue fracture. If it is a bone, bone is a living structure, we are repeating again and again. If it is a bone, and if it succeeds, the bone will remodel according to the functional need of that extremity and the functional loading. Here is an example. There was a time when we did not have bone grafts available or banks available. Here is an example. A giant cell tumor of the upper end of the tibia has been excised. Half of the femur has been turned down to bridge this gap. And this is soon after surgery. Look at the half or hemifemoral graft. But when it succeeds, this very graft attains the shape of the bone for which it is functioning. Look at the large size. Look at the shape of the bone and the medullary canal formation. And this is what is called Wolf's Law, which means function on which to which a living graft or incorporated graft is subjected, the graft will take the shape of the bone for which the function is for which the function is done. So this is the difference between metal and the bone graft. If the bone graft succeeds, ultimately this bone graft will take the shape of the bone for which it has been put in and it will hypertrophy remodel according to what is called Wolf's Law and function determines form, that is the word used. Keep in mind, bone is a very vascular structure. Bone is not a dead piece of wood. If we can remove the mineral and matrix from a bone, this is what the bone looks like. It is a, it's a very vascular tree. Everything is full of vessels, branches, almost all the bone is laid down around the vessels. So, here we are showing you a specimen of a bone from which the metal has been removed, from which the matrix has been removed and which shows how vascular is the bone. That is why a fracture of the bone causes bleeding, so called fracture hematoma.